And uh, welcome back to channel review. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm say I'm your host Nikim. What's up? And uh, I'll I'll be reviewing a new channel that I had uh, that I have not noticed a comment on uh, some of my content uh, before. So I feel like I looked at uh, some of his videos and feel like uh, so this time uh, today I'm gonna be looking at uh, the. Top, top 10 videos. I'll be counting. Mm. Let's go. Blah blah blah. Yo, what is going, guys? My name is Tens, and this is just a quick video showing you guys what happened to Twenty One Savage. As you guys can see on the screen right here, this is his actual channel with all of his videos. As you can see by his sub count, it is actually him. You can see his videos here and his banner. But something is really off about this channel right now, and that is if you take a look at the channel name of this channel. Now, so like, uh, if you have an account and uh, if you are like a musician, like, uh, yeah, so you will. You will not have the music simple symbol uh, right there. For all other YouTubers, if, if, even if you are a gaming YouTuber, you will not have this symbol. Now for some reason it says accounting department and not 21 Savage. So this led me to believe that this channel has immediately been hacked and I tried to look into it and I couldn't really find anything to support my claim. So I went into all of his videos to check if there was anything different in the comment section or in the description but I couldn't really find anything that differs from the normal 21 Savage. As you guys can see on the side here it says featured channels, it says opposition. First I thought that this was the hacker's channel but then I went into the channel and it's actually a real music channel. As you can see it's actually verified so I don't think this guy is the hacker at all. And even the about page, everything is exactly the same, the views are there, his business inquiry email is the same and all of the links are the same. Like if a hacker hacks someone with 6.65 million subscribers, why wouldn't they take advantage of the links down here to add their own Twitter, their own Instagram to get a lot a lot of followers from this channel and on the side here why would they feature the same channel again? I don't, I don't really get it. I mean the community tab it's all the same there's nothing that has been changed and believe it or not it has actually been the same channel name for a few days now so it isn't like it's only temporary it just happened now it's actually been like 20, this for 20, like 21 two, three days. And summer and no walker on youtube has even mentioned uh, this like I, I tried to look through it i couldn't really find any video Khalid mentioning Kilo. that 21 savage got renamed the accounting department i mean his playlists are all there and all of his videos are still up and no other video has been uploaded to the channel once the channel name was updated so do you guys think that the hacker is on standby and just trying to figure out what he should do with the channel or do you guys think that 21 savage wasn't hacked and that, that he's somehow now working for an accounting department i don't really think that's the case i actually think that this channel was hacked and the hacker is still wondering what he should do with the channel since this is a pretty huge thing i mean 21 savage is one of the biggest rappers in the world and this channel has 6.65 million subscribers and if such a channel gets hacked the hackers can do a lot with it i mean you can upload a video telling people to subscribe something or open a malicious link i mean this guy can do a lot of things with this channel that is malicious and that's why i want to make this video just that in case this channel was hacked we need to bring light to this so youtube can fix this if this video gets enough attention then youtube will probably see it and take action and give the channel back to twin savage but as i said before i'm not 100 percent sure that it was hacked but i'm pretty sure but i'm not 100 percent sure it's all just a weird situation that youtube needs to look into now that's all i want to say in this video if you enjoyed this video then please leave a like down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video mm. strange uh, i'm not one of the 21 uh, savage fan but, uh,
Throw rack again. Peter will reach 1 billion subscribers first on YouTube. Now we all know that PewDiePie and T-Series are the two biggest channels on YouTube. And I've also covered a YouTuber called Cocomelon, which is a very fast-growing YouTube channel right now. And that made me wonder what YouTuber will actually reach 1 billion subscribers first. So in this video, we're gonna analyze three channels, PewDiePie, T-Series, and Cocomelon, to determine which of these three YouTubers will reach 1 billion subscribers. PewDiePie and now Coco and I don't know. First. Now, Social Blade is a tool I have used in my previous videos. It's basically a tool that shows you how many subscribers each YouTuber gets per day. But there's actually a pretty interesting part of this website called Future Projections. And this does exactly what it says. It predicts the future to show how many subscribers the YouTuber you're looking at will have in given time. Now, right now, we're on PewDiePie's Social Blade. Now, if we scroll down, we can see exactly how many months it will probably take for him to get to 110 million. Million. And as you guys can see here, it says 8 Twitter. months, so in 8 months, PewDiePie will probably have 109,900,000 subscribers. But that's not all, we can actually scroll down and see 2 years into the future. So in 2 years, he will have 127 million subscribers, and in 3 years, he will have almost 150 million, and in 4 years, he will be at 172 million, and the maximum we can see at this website is 5 years. So in 5 years, PewDiePie will probably, according to Social Blade, have 2 204 million subscribers. Now, this is nowhere near the billion I was talking about in the beginning of the video, so that's why we can easily strike PewDiePie as one of the potential YouTubers to get 1 billion subscribers first. So, the next one I mentioned in the beginning of the video was Cocomelon, and as you guys can Oh yeah, speaking of PewDiePie, I remember Benny D. Hunter mentioning that in uh, my first, first interview with him. Hmm. I'm not a fan, but... You can yeah. see by his daily subscriber gain, he's getting over 100,000 subscribers per day. So if you go into the future projections, we can see that in two months, he will have 90 million. So he will gain 5 million subscribers in two months. Okay, the, so the only way you can, you can like, people are like, as I, I, mean, I heard that some uh, YouTubers are you using uh, ad share, like, uh, like that kind of stuff. So like, so like... So whenever you have people are saying like uh, your channel uh, in the advertisement and yeah you get a compensation uh, compensation money. That's probably uh, one way people are uh, like uh, mainstream YouTubers are getting uh, subs. And then there's uh, some other websites. And in four months, he will gain 12 million subscribers. I mean, this is a lot more than we saw at the PewDiePie Social Blade. So this means that this guy will have a lot more subscribers in two years. As you guys can see here, it says 224 million subscribers in two years. That's what PewDiePie was going to have in five years. Now, if we scroll down, we can see how many subscribers he will have in three years. And it says almost 350 million subscribers. Now, in four years, they will have half a billion subscribers and in five years they will have 700 million subscribers which is 300 million from 1 billion subscribers now between four years and five years it is around 200 million so in six years they will probably have 900 million and in six and a half years they will reach 1 billion subscribers according to social blade now t-series on the other hand is also a very fast-growing channel and i think this channel will be oh, the two channels uh. in which 1 billion subscribers oh, First on YouTube. As you guys can see, in two months they will gain 7 million subscribers, and in four months they will gain 16 million subscribers. And in 12 months they will be at 204 million subscribers, which is more than 60 million more than they have right now. And if we scroll down, we can see that in two years they will be at 311 million subscribers. I mean, this is just insane. It's so much more than PewDiePie and Cocomelon. And also in three years they will have almost half a million subscribers on YouTube. YouTube, and Cocomelon was gonna have a half a million after four years, so T-Series will be one year before them. So in four years, they will have 660 million subscribers. And the last projection we can see is five years, which Social Blade tells us that they will have 900 million subscribers. Now we can see the difference between four years and five years, that the difference is around 350,000, which means that in a little over five years, T-Series will have reached 
1 billion subscribers and that means that they will be the first YouTuber to reach 1 billion subscribers on YouTube according to Social Blade. Now the future is very unpredictable so we can't say for sure that there will come another channel that is growing like twice as fast as Cocomelon right now. We simply don't know what's gonna happen in the future but looking at Social Blade and looking at YouTube history, Social Blade has predicted that T-Series will reach 1 billion subscribers in just a little over 5 years. Now that's an insane amount of subscribers and all we can do is wait 6 years and see if this is true. Now that's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm. Hello guys, my name is Tens and in this video we're gonna have a look at this channel right here called Cocomelo Nursery Rhymes. If you don't know what this channel is, it's probably the next channel to reach 100 million subscribers on YouTube. Oh, okay. As we all know, the only two YouTubers that have 100 million right now is PewDiePie and it's T-Series. But this guy is probably gonna surpass both of these people and I'm gonna show you guys exactly why I think that in this video. So this channel basically uploads child videos. It's about, I think, it's animations to, um, to be watched by children. Those kinds of videos actually gain a lot, a lot of views, but they can't really be monetized, so I don't think this guy is earning a lot off of the ads but he's getting a lot of views and he's getting a lot of subscribers and i'm actually going to show you guys his social blade this is his social blade and as you can see he has 534 uploads at 84.3 million subscribers and i don't even know what that is 64 billion 838 million 273 thousand and 19 views now that's an insane amount of video views and that's why this guy has so many subscribers before we look at the daily subscribers mm -hmm. We're gonna have a look at PewDiePie as well. That's so PewDiePie, nice. he has 4,157 <laughs> uploads, which is a lot less than Cocomelon's 534. PewDiePie obviously has more subscribers at 105 million. His video views are also less than Cocomelon at only 25 billion. But what really sets these two channels apart is that if you go down to the daily subscribers and views on PewDiePie's social blade, you'll see that he gains 1 million every, I don't even know what this is, it's like every 20 days or something. He doesn't really gain that many subscribers anymore and as you can see here we can actually only see his video views since YouTube has made it so that we can only see every increment in a million and not 100,000. So if we go back to Cocomelon and go to his daily subscribers we can actually see how many subscribers he gets per day. And here we can see that he gets 100,000 subscribers a day. Sometimes he gets 200,000. I would guess it's around 150. That's actually a lot more than PewDiePie is getting. As you can see here it's only 1 million every Every 20 days but the views difference is actually insane between these two channels so PewDiePie gained 9 million views yesterday and Cocomelon gained 136 million views that oh, means that stream. this guy is gaining a lot more views and subscribers than PewDiePie and is growing a lot faster than PewDiePie and T-Series together which is why I think this guy will reach 100 million subscribers very soon and I think also he's gonna surpass PewDiePie and T-Series very soon because this guy is growing better very very fast. Also just for reference, T-Series is actually getting a lot more subscribers and views than PewDiePie but it isn't really getting as many as Cocomelon. It's still pretty close but Cocomelon is still getting more views than T-Series so I believe that Cocomelon will surpass PewDiePie very soon but then the new war will be between Cocomelon and T-Series and I believe that's gonna be within a few months and that everyone is gonna be talking about it. So that's all I want to show you guys in this video. It's pretty interesting how a new channel is on their way to 100 million. It's been a long time since this has happened and it's gonna be very interesting to see when he reaches 100 million subscribers. So if you guys like this video then please leave a like down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. New this is all over. What's going on guys? My name is Tens and in this video we're gonna have a look at the 10 oldest videos on YouTube. So YouTube was actually founded back in 2005 and there were a few videos that were uploaded in that date and we're going to have a look at the 10 first videos ever uploaded in 2005. So we're going to start off with the latest one and then we work our way down to the absolute oldest one on YouTube. So the first one on this list is actually a German title I believe 
so I can't really read this title but I will show you guys this on the screen as you can see here it's showcasing a empty stadium the video was uploaded in June 13th which makes it one of the oldest videos on YouTube but it actually makes it the first ever football video on YouTube as you can see by the views it isn't really that famous it only got 7,000 views for one of the first ever videos on YouTube you'd believe that it has around 100,000 weirdly enough it's only at 7,000 views but I'm gonna link all of these videos down in the description below so if you guys want to check them out then just go ahead and open up the description and you'll see all the links to these videos now the next one is called the first backflip on YouTube and it's actually one of the oldest videos on YouTube and it's the first backflip on YouTube it holds two titles and it's uploaded in May 24th 2005 and this video actually has a lot more views it has around 240 views and it has a lot of comments as well at 3600 at the time of recording this video now the fun thing about this video is that the channel owner is actually still active today his name is cobalt grub and he still uploads videos to this day so this makes him one of the absolute oldest youtubers on youtube now the next one is called pajamas and nick drake and this is also one of the oldest videos on youtube it's uploaded in may 22nd 2005 by a guy called steve and this video has 62,000 views which isn't a lot and it isn't that little either uh, it only has 94 comments which is extremely weird for a video that is this old on YouTube. This one is actually the first ever cat video on YouTube. So it shows a cat doing some stuff in the video. And as I said before, if you want to check this out yourself, you'll find the link oh, down in right the there. description below. Now moving on, this video is called Vernal Lullaby and it's uploaded in May 2nd, 2005. The video has currently 51,000 views and it's uploaded by Adam Quirk. And this video also doesn't really have that many comments. It's only at 227 comments, which is, as I said, weird for a video this old on YouTube. Now there isn't really anything more to say about this video i believe it's simply just a minute long song but you guys can listen to this one if you want by clicking on the link in the description the next one is called cyber goon squad and it's uploaded in may 1st 2005 by greg and it has 85,000 views at 352 comments and this was actually the first ever animated video on youtube and it's what you would call the weird side of youtube the next one is called carrie rides a truck and it's basically a video of someone riding a truck the video is uploaded in April 30, 2005 mm. by someone called Jones for Kerry. The video has 71,000 views and 374 comments. And as all of these old videos, there isn't really any content in them. This one is just 15 seconds long. The video is very blurry and doesn't have any sound, but it shows a girl riding a truck and I guess some people would find that entertaining. Now the next one is called Premature Baldness and it's uploaded in April 28, 2005 by a guy called Paul. It has 70 8,000 views with 229 comments. This video is actually unlisted so you can't really search this up so you can only view this video with a direct link and that direct link will be found in the description of this video and this video is actually the first video ever to feature some type of editing. There's actually a few cuts in the video and the video is basically about a guy that wonders how he will look when he's 50. Now the next one is called Tribute and it's uploaded in April 24th 2005 by a guy called G the current number of views is 244,000 and the current number of comments is 1,499. This one is also a very short video, it's actually only 5 seconds and it shows one guy jumping up between two walls and screaming. It is also believed that this video gave birth to vines, which were also short humorous videos. Now the next one on this list is called My Snowboarding Skills and it's uploaded in April 23, 2005 by MW and this one actually has a lot of views. It's at half a million views with 3,600 comments. Familiar. It's only 10 seconds long and it features a guy attempting to snowboard across a ramp and failing. And this is actually the second video ever uploaded to YouTube and it's also the first ever fail video on YouTube. Now the last one, the one we all know about, Me at the Zoo, which is uploaded in April 23rd, 2005 by Jod, aka the co-founder of YouTube. This video has a lot, a lot more views than all of the other videos. It's currently at 50 4 million views at 804,000 comments and that's all because this is the first ever YouTube video on YouTube. I actually covered this in my last video where I showed you guys the comment section and 
why it was cursed. If you want to see that video, then click the card up to the right here. But the video actually shows him enjoying a moment with some elephants. Nothing more, nothing less. It's actually only 18 seconds, so there isn't really that much to watch. But it makes it the oldest video ever on YouTube. It also ends God. up this video. So if you guys liked this video, if you liked all of the listings in this video, then please leave a like down below and subscribe. Oh. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh. My name is Tense and you're probably wondering why you are subscribed to this channel. As you can see by the channel name, it is actually Tense, the name I'm saying in this video. But I'm pretty sure that you don't remember subscribing to this channel or you don't recognize the channel name at all. And there is a very logical explanation to ask why that is and I'm going to explain everything in this video so just keep on watching and you will find out. As you can see by my subscriber count, it's at 38,000 subscribers and you are are one of those people probably that are subscribed to this channel and what happened was that my channel was hacked by a team I don't really know who the team was or whatever they do I don't know who the people behind a oh, team hmm. just recently a uh, uh, Pokemon Go game uh, a YouTuber got uh, hacked in uh, <laughs> November last just last year the entire hack was what i do know is that these people are she got it back. well known to be hacking people's channels and i was one of the victims of such a hack so my, my channel was hacked and what i did was that i didn't really know what what was going on at first i just couldn't really find my channel since what they did was that they transferred my channel from my own gmail to their own gmail so the entire channel just disappeared from my entire account so i couldn't really do anything but to contact youtube support which is exactly what I did so I got in contact with them and I explained everything I explained that I couldn't really access my channel I couldn't even see it but the channel was still up I could still visit the link and I saw some weird videos on the channel that I had not uploaded so that's exactly when I knew that I had been hacked and I need to get this channel back as fast as possible so after explaining everything to YouTube support they finally believed me since I showed them proof that I owned the channel before so what they did was that they transferred the channel back back to me but keep in mind that this took a few weeks to do so it wasn't just something that happened overnight I had to wait like two three weeks to get my channel back and I actually got my channel back yesterday and I decided to make a video today explaining what happened so you guys know why you're subscribed and why you should stay subscribed to my channel so anyhow now I have access to my channel now I'm the only owner I'm the only uploader to this channel my name is Tens and if you stay subscribed you'll be able to see a lot of gaming videos a lot of entertaining videos and a lot of comments videos that you guys really don't want to miss out on so this choice is up to you whether you want to stay subscribed or not I would really appreciate it if you stay subscribed since I want to show you guys the content that I can deliver and see if you guys like it so I really hope that you can stay around for a few videos to decide where you want to whether you want to stay around or not and that's basically all I want to say in this video uh, so if you like this video if you like my explanation then please leave a like down below and stay subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Tense and in this video we're actually going to be covering something that is pretty interesting. As you can see on the screen right now, this video is called Opening to Child's Play 2019. If you pay attention to the views, there's really nothing wrong, it's 150,000 views. And the likes and dislikes, there's nothing wrong about it. But there is one thing about this video that stands out. If you take a look at the date when this video was premiered, you'll see that it says January 1st, 1970. What is going on um, here? We all know that YouTube was made in 2005, so mm -hmm. how can a video uploaded in 1970, which is 36 years before YouTube was even released, be on YouTube? There is actually a simple explanation to this, and it's actually less fascinating than you probably think. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to explain this, so just keep on watching and we'll get into this. For computers to know what time it is, they use this system called Unix Epoch, and this system was invented in January 1st, 1970, one day before this video was premiered. And basically, this system works all in seconds. So they started this clock in January 1st, 1970, and ever since this, it has been counting the seconds for every second, every day, and every year, all the way until now. So as you can see here on the screen, this is the current time of recording this video in Unix Epoch. So those are all the seconds that has gone by since they started this clock back in 1970. So how was this video? 
media premiered in January 1st, 1970? Well, it just wasn't. You know, computers, they don't always work as intended. So this was just a glitch. So what made this video to show that it was premiered in 1970 was simply a glitch. And the way this glitch work is that YouTube uses the Unix Epoch system to calculate their time. But sometimes this clock actually resets to zero. And as we already know, they started this clock back in 1970, January 1st. And this video was also uploaded on the same date. And this video might actually show December 31st, 1970 as well. And if it does show that for you, then it's all simply just because your time zone is different than mine. So that's basically what was going on here. It's simply a glitch in the system, but it's still pretty interesting that it can happen and that YouTube has not fixed it yet. So uh, let's see how long it takes for YouTube to fix this glitch in the system. And if you guys want to check this out for yourself to make sure I'm not making anything up, I'm going to link this video down in the description below. Now if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey mm. guys, my name is Tense, and in this video, we're gonna have a look at all of the different creator awards YouTubers can be awarded. Most people only know that the silver, gold, and diamond play button exists, but there are actually a few more that we're gonna cover in this video, as well as the YouTubers who actually receive them. Now, I myself as a YouTuber has not received anything since I have not reached 100,000 subscribers yet, but I hope to reach this milestone in the future so that I can at least receive the silver creator award. Now, the first creator award that you actually receive is the silver creator award and this is also known as the silver play button and you get this one when you reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Keep in mind to be able to receive all of these different creator thousand. awards you actually mm. need to be partnered as well so you need to be monetized and you need to be earning money off your videos to even be able to claim your play button. So you don't just need 100,000 subscribers you also need to be in the YouTube partner program. Now this is the most common creator award among YouTubers since it's the lowest one and believe it or not, there's actually a lot of people on YouTube that has 100,000 subscribers. So this play button is really, really common. But the next one isn't really as common, and this one is the Gold Creator Award, also known as the Gold Play Button. Now this play button is only given to channels who have more than 1 million subscribers. And there's oh, actually a huge gap between the 100,000 mm. subscribers and I've 1 million one. subscribers. There isn't as many the people odd that James this one. Award, so it makes it less common mm. than the silver one. And keep in mind that for all of these different buttons, YouTube actually types your name on the button so it's personalized to your channel. So this Gold Creator Award will come with your YouTube channel name on it if you claim this on your YouTube channel. Now the next one is actually called the Diamond Creator Award and you have probably seen this on channels that reach 10 million subscribers. It's basically the silver one but with a bit more texture and it looks like a crystal in the shape of a play button triangle. Mm -hmm. As of recording this video, there's actually only 566 channels who have ever received this button. So this creator award is actually really really rare. Moving one step up is the custom creator award and this one actually starts at 50 million and not 100 so they changed up the levels a little bit. This is even more rare. There's actually only two people that have publicly showed that they received the button and, and those two people are PewDiePie and T-Series. But there's actually 10 other channels who have over 50 yeah. million subscribers but they haven't mentioned that they received this creator award so I can't really say if they have it or not. Now the absolute last one on this list is called the Red Diamond Creator Award and this one is given to channels that surpass 100 million subscribers. Now obviously there isn't a lot of people who have this either. I believe there are only two people in the entire world who have received this button and those two people are T-Series and PewDiePie since those are the only two YouTubers that have over 100 million subscribers. So those are the five different creator awards that you can get on YouTube. Let me know down in the comment section which one you want the most and also let me know mm, if you actually Mr. have received one. Probably got so that's gonna be the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. With the team, guys, my name is Tense, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Mia Tisu, which is the first video ever uploaded to YouTube. As you can see here, this is the video. It has currently 97 million views. It is uploaded in 2005 by a guy named Jod, which was the co founder of YouTube back in 2005. It has 3.3 million likes and 100,000 dislikes. But what's really, one of the really first weird videos about this video is that if you go down to the comment section, 
section this guy has made a new default to sort by the newest first this means that all of the new comments will show here other than uh, top comments look if you go to top comments then that's like every normal video ever on YouTube here you can see all the top comments with the most likes but this video has the setting put on viewers first which you can actually do in your YouTube studio but what's really weird here are the type of comments you see on this video but as you can see here it says please sub to me I got 40 subs and my dream is to get 100 subs so this looks like just a normal spam comment uh, by someone who wants to do sub for sub but uh, there is really more to it is if you scroll down a little bit you'll see that the comment section is actually full of the same types of comments here's someone saying three subs for 80 and he probably means that he needs three subs to get to 80 subs and there is another one down here he said i need two subscribers for 70, 70 please thank you and nah. i'm guessing this guy has around 60 subscribers let's see actually uh yes he actually got 70 right now so that means that this is working he obviously had less than 70 when posting this comment which was actually from one minute ago so i'm begging for subscribers won't working, work but it's unless all, if you guess, actually YouTube have good content service, since you're not allowed to sub for sub on youtube but i personally don't have anything against sub for sub but when i see it on a video like this it just makes me really really mad since this is a historical moment in youtube and if you go down to the comments to check what people are commenting you're probably guessing that it's um, related to the video but then you see all of these types of spam comments and it really makes your day worse since this is not something you want to see on a very big video on YouTube all right guys so I actually went into a lot of these people's accounts and I checked their current sub count and then I waited around 10 minutes and when I refreshed this one guy actually gained 20 subscribers oh, just for doing not the not sub for sub really? on this video that means that there are a lot of people currently being refreshing the comment section just to find people to sub for sub to to get more oh, subs I'm pretty wow, sure those guys are gonna reacting. unsubscribe in a few days since they don't want a randomer in their subscriber section now the last comment I'm gonna cover here is from 48 ID and he said sub for sub and someone actually replied saying 48 I'm done I don't see my sub so that's another proof that there are actually active people here just refreshing the comment section to find new people who want to do sub for sub and then they exchange their subs and probably unsub later I'm going to leave the link to this video down below if you want to check it out yourself it is truly weird that Jod set the comments to be the newest maybe it was intentional maybe he knew that he was gonna get a lot more comments doing it that way or maybe it was just something he made by mistake I have no idea but it's safe to say that it is working he's getting a lot more comments than he would if he didn't have it sort by newest but I'm just speculating I don't really know anything about this guy I just want to make a video about this comment section since it really blew my mind how a big video like this has been destroyed by sub for sub spammers so that's all I want to say in this video if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to protect your own channel from a hack since, as you may already know, I was recently hacked on YouTube. Uh, my channel was stolen from me and I had to do a lot to get it back. And I really don't want this to happen to you guys since it was really, really stressful. You had to work hard with YouTube support to get it back. So the best thing is to avoid this whole thing altogether. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do in this video. Now, there are two types of hacks on YouTube. Uh, one... Yeah. I also forgot to mention, oh yeah, King Crooked, member of a uh, slaughterhouse. Yeah, he also uh, got his uh, YouTube channel, Crook's Corner, stolen. Yeah, I mentioned it before. Never got it back. They so made another one. One being where they steal the channel from your Google account and one being where they steal your entire Google account and that one is really really hard to get your channel back from since uh, you lose access to your entire account. That's basically like your account, that's what you use in to use in the support to prove your past ownership and if you don't have your account then it's really really hard to get your channel back so that one is the worst let's really really avoid that one so how can you protect yourself from such hacks well youtube actually has a very smart system called two-step verification which is used by discord and a lot of other applications that require a lot of security and basically what two steps verification is it's that when you log into any website that uses two-step then you'll have to verify 
while you're logging on your phone and that way someone that has your password can't log in without having your phone as well so that means that if someone somehow comes over your password and try to log into your YouTube channel then they're gonna get locked out since they can't really get a hold of your phone since hopefully the phone is with you and not with them and that means that you're the only one that can accept the login or deny the login yeah it's also why uh, email is uh, another one I use it I use people email usually a lot. get hacked by phishing emails saying that let's say that uh, one of the videos was removed since it contains some bad language maybe there are a lot of different phishing mails but what they all do have in common is that they well once you click on the mail and log into YouTube by the link that they give you then that's how they get your password since it's not the official YouTube login website so your login information gets sent right to them and that's how they get your email and password and try to log into your account and as I said that's what happened to me I received a mail and I was stupid enough to click on it and I logged in and a few days after that I couldn't find my channel anymore so what they did was that they logged in and then they went into the manager section of my YouTube channel they added their own mail as owner and if you didn't know this you have to wait 24 hours before you can transfer primary ownership which is basically like the head owner you know you can have different managers and owners on your channel but the primary owner is the one who can delete the channel and delete everyone else off the channel so that that person is the only owner so that's what they did they transferred the owner to one of the mails and then they waited 24 hours without me noticing you know they deleted the mail saying that they transferred it so that they wouldn't notice and after 24 hours that's when I really noticed since the channel was gone and I couldn't access it anymore another way people usually hack you is that they log into your account and then they change the password they add their own phone as two-step and that's basically when you are completely screwed uh, there's no way to log back into that account since they are now the owner with the phone and they can lock you out whenever you try to log in so what should you do when you get hacked well luckily YouTube actually has their own support they have partner support and they have normal support partner support is basically when you have access to the live chat so you can live chat to a, to a real YouTube agent and they can help you like live and uh, the other one is Twitter which is a bit slower so you can go on to Twitter and then go on to team YouTube and then you want to follow them before actually proceeding so follow them and then you want to tweet at YouTube and say that you were hacked and that you'd like help getting your channel back They'll DM you in a few hours asking what your channel link is and what happened And you just have to provide all the proof since they want a lot of proof to not make the mistake of transferring the channel to a random person So once they have all the proof they need they have to wait a few weeks to um, actually transfer the channel Since there's a lot of people getting hacked right now and there aren't that many people working at YouTube So it takes quite the time to to get your channel back but it's safe to say that when you have given them all the correct information all you gotta do is wait and it's almost 100% guaranteed that you'll get your channel back and that's what I did so as I said in my last video I had to wait two three weeks and then they finally transferred it to me and told me to enable two-step uh, for this not to happen again and told me to not click any phishing emails since those are usually fake and those are the mails that will get your channel hacked so that's basically all I want to say in this video I really Really, really don't want you guys to get hacked like I did so I hope this video was helpful and I hope this video will prevent you guys from getting hacked in the future so if you found this video helpful then please leave a like down below and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video My name is Tense and in this video we're gonna have a look at a new video on YouTube that is about to be the new most liked video on YouTube but before we get into any of that I just want to announce that you can now join my channel I have enabled channel membership so as you guys can see under this video there is a blue button there called join and if you click on it you can see all of the different perks that you'll receive once being a member of my channel one of those perks being shoutouts in my videos so if you guys want shoutouts in every single one of my videos then don't forget to become a member of my channel now enough of that in this video as I said we're gonna be talking about the most liked video on YouTube and which video is about to take its place this is the most liked non music video on YouTube it is uploaded by Mr. Beast and it's at 13 million likes now the objective yeah, of this video right, was Mr. actually Beast. to become one of the most liked videos on YouTube that's why it's an egg and that's why it's at 13 million likes so as I said this is the most liked non music video on YouTube music videos on YouTube they tend to have a lot of likes because they get a lot of views as well Speaking 
speaking of music videos, so a few days ago, Kerry Minotti uploaded a new music video on YouTube. It is called Yalgar uh, Kerry Minotti, and this guy is Indian, so most of the comments in this video will be in Hindi. But what's special about this video is that it has 9.9 .9 million likes. Now, what's even more special about that is that this video was uploaded 10 days ago. If we go back to the Mr. Beast video, this video was uploaded in over one year ago, and it's a 13 million likes. Kerry Minotti's video was uploaded 10 days ago, and it's it's already at almost 10 million likes. So this video's like count and view count is growing rapidly and I believe that it will pass Mr. Beast's video any day now and then it will be on its way to become one of the most liked videos on YouTube. So the most liked video on YouTube right now is Despacito and it's at 36 million likes. So that's a lot of likes but keep in mind that Despacito was uploaded in 2017. So that's three years so they got 37 million likes in three years and if we go back to Carrie Minotti's video they received 10 million likes in 10 days. So it makes it very probable that it might actually surpass the Despacito in likes as well. All we have to do is wait and see if this happens. I will leave the link to this video down in the description below as well so you can monitor the progress if you want to. Now I enabled channel memberships yesterday and I've already received four new members and I'm gonna as promised shout out these people on my videos. So this is the first ever video that I shout out my members. So shout out to Alexis T, Chronologic and Diana Tan and this name right here on the screen. I can't really read that but keep in mind that shoutouts will be different i will always shout out all of my members in my videos but i might do it differently so don't forget to become a member to receive shoutouts in my videos but that's gonna be the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please leave a like down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm. yo what is going guys my name is tense uh, okay. and no yeah Interesting content. <laughs> hmm. I started in 2015. Uh, one year after me. Uh. Uh. I mean, there's a lot of guys. Uh, uh, Many of the videos are interesting, mm. but yeah, it's the only like the video game la layout. Mm. I mean, it's not a, like a podcast or anything, but yeah. So it's oh, okay in my opinion. Mm. Well, the videos were interesting. Mm. On some of them people are you know, like uh, on some topics that people wouldn't uh, talk about. Mm -hmm. So I think uh video's good. So I want to probably rate it around eight, eight point five out of ten. So good, good stuff. So. Now keep knowing what you're doing. Good. Now the next channel I've been looking at is the Officer Tatum. Run by uh, Brandon Tatum. Uh, he used to be a police officer. <laughs> he just reached uh, 1.05 million uh, uh, subscribers after recently, and. So he did, uh, he runs the Tatum Report, and uh, he uh, like, speaks a lot, a lot about like uh, stuff that like, and uh, it actually supports Black Lives, not Black Lives Matter, but like, not the Marxist group, man. And uh, he uh, like, does a lot of like uh, life facts and new stuff, stuff, and yeah. Yeah, I may mean, make some uh, interesting stuff. I've uh, watched uh, many of uh, his uh, videos. Mm -hmm. So he's, uh, and he also speaks out against the uh, white narrative. Mm -hmm. Enough, enough.
enough of the white narrative and like, you know even more like a equality uh, person and yeah conservative and proud to say what he is and speak his uh, own opinion and uh, and he is not like one of one of those people who like just like follow stuff on the news and like believe CNN and such Uh, it's Irons here. Uh, you guys can uh, check out uh, Tenzin's channel. Descriptions down below. And I'll see you guys in the, in the next video where I'm looking at uh, Brandon Tatum's uh, channel. channel uh, I'll see how that goes.